Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with my kickoff video for the Tom Daniel group build. I'm going to be working on the AMT Munster Coach. This is actually going to be a kind of combination tribute build, both to Tom Daniel, who did the original concepts for both Coach and Dragula, as well as George Barris, who just passed this last week, and uh, his shop, Barris Customs, did the construction work for both cars for the TV show. So this is going to be a tribute to both of them. And before I take a look at the contents, I did want to explain the box here. Uh, this is the reissue of the AMT kit that came out in 2011. And when it was reissued, it was in a special collector's tin, which I didn't really care about the tin, I didn't really care about the collectability of it, and didn't fit on my shelves. But I wasn't sure how long the reissue was going to last, if it was going to come out in multiple packages, and so I didn't want to miss the opportunity. I picked up the first one that I could find. I uh, sold off the tin and transferred all the parts into something that fit a little better on my shelf. So this isn't a knockoff or a recast or anything. This is an actual official AMT kit. So taking a look at it here. Got the instructions, which are really basic just kind of three exploded drawings. Easy enough to follow. And there is for the Dragula, which I won't be working on Dragula this time, but I will be building it in the future. Get a postcard, a little catalog. Get a couple of cards. as well as a standee of the family that you can put behind the cars when they're done. And this is really cool, and this was actually worth getting the tin for. Is it's a book of just reference photos. And they've got some really nice detail shots in here, and some close-ups of the engine, different angles, some nice views showing what the colors should be, They've got for both the Coach and Dragula in here. Just overall, really nice pictures and really great. And I've got some in progress photos. So for detailing it up, this is a really nice reference that they included. That, that was a very cool addition. Here's the entirety of the Dragula kit. Here we have the coach body. I worked on one of these with a friend many, many years ago, and it looks like overall the mold held up really nicely. Uh, we've still got the nice, fine beaded detail on the curtains. There's still the nice texture on the rear door, like there should be. Things generally look pretty straight, pretty clean, not much flash. The window looks nice and straight. Not a whole lot of parts to it. I got some plastic tires which are kind of terrible so I might replace those with something from my parts box. But other than that, scroll work looks pretty decent. Steering wheel is actually nice and sharp, has open spokes on it. The chrome plating actually looks nice and clean. No excessive flash on that. Certainly nowhere as near what their vampire van looks like, and that was pitiful, but this actually looks really good. I, I think they uh, have a winner here. And then this is the chrome for Dragula, which, you know, even the front wheels don't look too bad. And considering that they're plastic spokes, that's really saying something. Yeah, even that looks pretty good. And then the last thing, these wouldn't fit in my box, so I have them in a separate folder, is a full decal sheet, which over here 
are the original decals that came in the first issue of the kit, and then they've got all new ones, including pinstriping for the fenders, different cobweb designs, better rear doors, some Barris crests, and uh, yeah, overall these look pretty good too. Some of the recent kits from round two have had pretty terrible decals in them. Uh, Dirk Pitt had talked about the Top Gun F-14 not having any of the actual Top Gun markings in it. Yeah, in my own experience, the Jack Reacher kit had just garbage decals. I ended up replacing them with ones from an older AMT kit. But these look pretty good. So hopefully they were early enough in round two's career that they were still trying to impress everybody. So there you have it. I'll be starting on this in the next few days. And uh, next week I'm going to be giving an update on my Furious 7 Toyota Supra. Uh, I've not stopped work on that. But what I'll do is I'll alternate between videos updating that project and videos updating this project. So next week it'll be the Supra, and then the week after I'll have an update on where I am with this. So check back then, see what's new. Thanks for watching.